scam, a dishonest way to make money by deceiving people. Another definition is a fraudulent or deceptive act or operation. Alternatively, the third definition I can find of scam is a sneaky or dishonest plan that's meant to con someone. Now, on Walmart Spark, what they tell you about acceptance rate is literally a scam. Listen to how Walmart describes it. Walmart says that if you accept orders, your acceptance rate goes up by 2%, and when you decline orders, it goes down 2%. Think about this for a moment. If I have a 10% acceptance rate, and I accept 5 out of my next 10 orders, then growing from a 10% and then doing 50%, my acceptance rate should go up. Now, as Walmart describes it, if I have a 10% acceptance rate, and I accept 5 orders, it would go up 2% times five orders so 10% up to 20% and then if I decline five orders it would then go down 2% times five orders 10% so I'd end up exactly where I started at 10% even though I had a 50% acceptance rate during that time how is this not a scam now how this should work and how pretty much every other gig app platform works is that for acceptance rate, it's the rolling last 50 or 100 orders. So when I accept it, it doesn't look at just only the order I'm taking right now. It also looks at the order that I took 50 orders ago. Now after some brief testing, I did determine that this is indeed how Walmart Spark acceptance rate actually works on their app. And Walmart really just has a really bad explanation. But think about this for a moment. If drawers think acceptance rate works the way that it says in the app and they follow the instructions trying to get a higher acceptance rate they're going to take more orders than they need to and they're going to decline less orders than they should in an effort to increase the overall acceptance rate and essentially save walmart spark money because they're not going to have to offer as much surge pay and i know some people say oh how do you know this is intentional well i really don't but i mean why would they even write it like that in the first place if they know that's not how it works and even if it was initially a mistake they do benefit from it not getting corrected once again how is this not a scam? Lastly, there's a documented issue where Walmart Spark has an indirect way of punishing drivers who have a low acceptance rate. Now, it's been reported in multiple sources that drivers who have a low acceptance rate and decline multiple round robin orders in a row, there's been reports that they're put in essentially what's a, a timeout, essentially meaning that they stop getting offers, they stop getting round robin orders, and very much it's like a soft deactivation for the rest of the shift for drivers who are declining too many orders and have a lower acceptance rate. Now, this hasn't happened to me personally, but let me know in the comments down below if something like this has happened to you or to somebody that you know. Now, if you're getting value out of this video so far, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you want to know the real truth of Walmart acceptance rate, listen to what they say in the app. First off, let's start with the urban legend. The urban legend is that having a higher acceptance rate on Walmart Spark will get you better orders. But let's see what they say in the app. What they say literally is that acceptance rate keeps you prioritized to receive offers. Now let's break that down for the people in the back. It doesn't say better offers. It doesn't say higher paying offers. It just says that it helps keep you, amongst other things, is one of the things that may help keep you prioritized. It doesn't say first, but definitely not last. Prioritized. And then to receive offers. Not good offers, not high paying offers, not low distance offers, not a certain type of offer, but just offers in general. Now, don't get me wrong, this could be something that helps you get orders when things are slower or if you have a slower market So hey, if that's the only way you get orders more power to you because it does help you with that So from getting no orders to getting some orders technically it may help you make more money But if you're not in one of those markets What are you gonna do when there's a higher paying shorter distance ASAP order at the same time? They're being offered a round robin you're probably gonna lower your acceptance rate, at least if you're a smart delivery driver. I mean, just the other day, I was offered a $12 for four mile round robin offer that I thought about for a split second, but then right below it, I saw an ASAP offer that was $19 for three miles. Which order do you think I took? Of course, I took the order without the timer. And this just goes to show you just one of the reasons why the orders that you're getting prioritized for may not necessarily be the order you should be taking. I mean, what you think is good may not be what Walmart thinks is good for example, you may prefer shop and deliver, but you know, the GMD orders, those pay 50 and $60 a pop. They're thinking they're giving you good 50 and $60 orders, but you're fine with, you know, 30 and $40 shop and deliver orders. You're probably going to lower your acceptance rate. At least a smart driver will. Once again, this just goes to show you that although you may be prioritized for orders and get more orders, they may not necessarily be the orders that you should be taking. They may not necessarily be the orders that you want to take. What happens when there's no good offers in the mix? There's just a bunch of crap orders you're getting prioritized 
optimize for. Your acceptance rate on Walmart Spark should really just be a reflection of your market, your needs, and the amount of time you have available. People with a higher acceptance rate can be there for multiple reasons. It could be because you have a better market and every order is good, or it could be that you're in a bad market and you have to do it by necessity in order to make money. Uh, people with modest goals, they can just get out of the day in 50 to $75 a night, two to three orders. They might have a higher acceptance rate. People who have less time, they may have a higher acceptance rate. I mean, ideally, people would advocate for having lower acceptance rate, you're able to cherry pick. But having a low acceptance rate is kind of a luxury because that means that A, you're getting an order value, the orders are good enough, and you can just wait till the cream rises to the top to take the cream of the crop. I mean, if you have a market that allows you to work multiple ads, cherry picking would be more, even more so recommended because now you can cherry pick across multiple platforms, more cherry trees to choose from, especially if you have more ambitious goals. Now, there's a couple things I wanna make sure everybody knows about acceptance rate. I think a lot of experienced drivers may know this, but you know, recently there's been a lot of changes in the Spark app. So this is a good refresher course for experienced drivers, as well as a great informational course for new drivers as well. Round robin orders are the only orders that impact your acceptance rate. Those are the ones that have a timer on it. If they don't have a timer, they don't impact your acceptance rate. So the ones without a timer, those are the ones that are first come for serve orders, ASAP, the surge orders. Those are all the orders that don't impact your acceptance rate. Well, actually, let me take a step back because sometimes I'll see an order that they have some surge on and then the next hour will come around and they'll bring it back as a round robin. Be careful of that. Surge and round robin aren't always mutually exclusive. But in general, I think knowing what is busy in your market is the biggest enabler of people making more money or being able to have a higher acceptance rate. I mean, typically, first thing in the morning when Y Walmart opens in the market at 7 a.m., those overnight orders that stacked up, uh, those are typically popping out at the morning. Uh, so the first couple of hours of the day are very busy. Also, about four or five in the afternoon when people are getting off of work and people want their groceries delivered for the evening, that's also when I see it busy on Walmart Spark as well. The later that you're able to stay out, the more some drivers go home and the more surge you may see. Once again, enabling you to have a higher acceptance rate if that's something you're chasing. Now, before I get to my last point, if you're getting value from this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. And if you wanna know why most people will always run into trouble when they're trying to get a high acceptance rate, well, that's because there's no acceptance rate that excludes you from getting offers that are low dollars and high mileage. I mean, there's been times when I've been sitting in a Walmart parking lot trying to get offers and I get orders from a store that's five, six, 10 miles away. And I'm not accepting that order just like most Spark drivers aren't accepting that order. The other thing you'll notice is that once your acceptance rate goes up, you might start getting GMD orders as your round robin offers, being that those are higher pay. And if you take them, you take them, but a lot of people don't. Most people that do Spark don't do it to keep a $1 to mile, dollars to miles ratio. So it's still gonna be a challenge when you're getting offered those orders that you don't wanna take. There's a lot of things that are making you choose between having a high acceptance rate and making a good dollars per hour and ultimately you may be losing money if you're accepting too many orders or too many bad orders in general having a high acceptance rate doesn't give you a raise